Hello folks, Michael Abdul Malik here. Welcome back to my channel. It's always a pleasure having you around. This is how the coriander looks. Amazing. <laughs> so you're surprised. We did not give it to the chickens um, and we did not dry it. So, what are you then doing with it? So just stick around. I'm gonna show you how the garden is. Uh, just a snapshot right. Uh, just, just a snapshot right now, and also share with you some bad news I have from the chicken coop. You know, yeah, happens. So stick around. So now you've seen how the spinach are amazing progress. I always knew spinach will be a success for me. Uh, so the winners for me are spinach and um, canzella. Amazing. So tomatoes are, are trying. As you can see, this is the place for tomatoes. And just behind me there um, is where we want to plant the tomato. Uh, sorry, the potatoes. Okay. So let me just show you how the tomatoes look. So there's one here. This is one tomato plant. It has fruits already, so it has two tomatoes. So the only thing that we have not done and we are going to do is we have not placed a string uh, here so that just we can pull it up and just to make sure that it grows tall. Um, and these are just metal bars where we're gonna put the string here and attach it to the the fence uh, there so when you attach it to the fence and then now the the, the tomato now will just feed on the the, the, the string that we attach uh, from the fence to the uh, to the to the metal bar so this is how i think i have around 15 or 20 tomato plants this is how it looks um, so i see the weeds coming up so i need to just do weeding again there you go, so you can see metal bars. So this, all these are tomatoes. Um, yeah, and uh, you, you can see we, we, we are just, as you can see from the background there, we have, we, we are harvesting spinach for supper. Yeah, we are harvesting spinach for supper. <laughs> Amazing. You know, grow your own food and cook your own food. So this is how the tomatoes are, amazing. There you go, looking all healthy, looking all healthy. So let me just go here and show you, is this one which is very big but has no <laughs> fruit whatsoever. I don't know what's happening to this one. It's just growing tall with no food. Yeah, so we have another one here, which has like one, two, three, three tomatoes. This other one here has like two tomatoes. Also, this one has like two tomatoes. There's another one here, which also has two tomatoes two tomatoes yeah so this is the concept I was telling you guys um, it's just DIY so the poles here will hold this string and then what will happen now is this string will now support these tomato plants with another string so we'll have another string pull these tomato plants up and just suspend it on uh, this other long string here you know it's amazing so as you can see from this healthy healthy plants here we have chicken coop manure everything comes from our chicken coop the manure and then it's fed to the crops that's why you see they are very healthy all green 
the only thing that is affecting them uh, because we are this side of the world it's very cold it's bright but no need to worry about bright whichever will survive will survive i am not gonna use any chemicals to control bright yeah so this is the area of land that we are gonna use to plant potatoes so the uh, we've already dug out the, 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 the is, is it called the trenches or I, I don't know so as you can see we have this uh, we call it metaro but you can call it trench uh, so what will happen now here is we will have chicken coop manure just spread uh, on, on the on the on the trenches or on the terraces then we will now put the potato plant um, yeah, so what, what will happen now is we will have the chicken coop manure just spread uh, in between, uh, in the terraces, the, 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 the metaro, you know, uh, and we wait for a few days, uh, probably now just dig again so we can mix up the soil and then now cut proper uh, terraces uh, now for planting our, our tuber, so the potatoes. And what will happen now is, um, you know, th that just makes sure that we have good manure, okay? And then now we have uh, all these um, weeds that we removed while, while we were weeding, now will become manure. So that we're gonna spread it now like a mulching uh, a factor on the, on, on the potato bed after, after now we plant, um, then it will just act like food for the potatoes and the good thing about uh, potatoes is their tubers so they carry their own water so they can survive a good deal without water okay so we just want to see and experiment how this will turn out again we want to plant more canzella so there is enough space um, I will show you so we cleared uh, we cleared this this space here so that we can uh, plant canzella and now we're gonna clear when the dania is dry the coriander is dry we're gonna clear that place i am not planting coriander again so what we're gonna plant there is we're gonna plant um skumawiki and more spinach okay so either for commercial or for ourselves as you can see this this is a spinach that were affected uh, by bright and you know we don't want it to affect any other spinach because i think it's viral something when one spinach is, is affected, it affects uh, the other. So they have dried up. We gave to the chickens a lot, and there was a lot left behind. So we have just dried it here, and then we're just gonna use it as as manure uh, for the crops. Um, so we're just gonna spread it like half. Spread it here. I don't know if this is spread the right way, but yeah, we're gonna spread it when the time comes. Yeah, but guys, I am so excited. This looks very green and very healthy. I was waiting for my spinach to be this green, Yawa. Hey, you know, ah, amazing. Organic farming at its best, guys. You know, organic farming at its best. Uh, you know, I'm a big proponent of organic farming, and I want to tell everyone and anyone who was wants to practice farming practice organic farming you'll never regret so this is how it looks um, so the coriander uh, we finish with the coriander it's actually looks nice <laughs> you know okay guys this is the spinach let me just turn my camera no spinach this is the collard greens you remember the ones that refused to grow now look at them they are amazing they have grown uh, but not as we expected but nonetheless we even didn't remove them from the nursery so we said ah let them just stick there so they are growing from um, the nursery we have a, a, a cool 50 or so uh, stems of uh, uh, collard greens that is kumawiki for our own use and consumption okay so we have not put yet manure uh, but you're going to put manure very soon uh, yeah, so for the next like six six months, we are sorted for um, collard greens. Uh, and this now right here is how the, co the, the coriander looks. Just an overview, if I can just do a high level and you can see, they are tall. 
I think this is like five, five or six foot tall. Not six foot, it can be six foot. This is like three, yeah, three feet. And what we, what, what we wanted to do with the coriander is we wanted to harvest the seeds. Instead of, instead of drying them, uh, so this is what we want to harvest, the seeds. So here they are. So what we want is we want this crop to dry up. Once it dries up, um, it, looks, it will look like this. So we have some here that we have already started drying. So it, look like, it looks like this. Then once it is totally dry, you will see now even the seeds will dry. They will become brown. And then now we can just beat them, uh, beat the crop and the seeds will fall off. And now we'll sell the seeds off instead of just um, making 100% loss at least we'll cover so this is how the seeds look pretty amazing so you can imagine one crop has so many seeds um, and as, as I told you guys a lot of bees come here I think this is bee magnet <laughs> uh, yeah kind of like so you can see the whole of this place I think it will give us pretty pretty nice seed yeah so we, i can't wait for that we changed tacks changed tactics along the way it is allowed <laughs> i told you this was the first time so we needed to make as many mistakes as we could have so that we cannot make the mistakes again okay so some of the uh, coriander have not developed seeds but most of them have developed seeds so you can see this thing is very tall this thing is very long and tall. This is how they look. Amazing. Yeah. And the, and, the, uh, and, and the funny thing is they still have the aroma. The aroma of coriander, the aroma of dania is amazing. It's too much. So once we dry off the, and, and we, we shake off the seeds, the rest we are going to grind. You know, so now we are killing two birds with one stone. Instead of just grinding them, we uh, dry them so that we get the seeds. Sorry, we need to make them grow old, get seeds, grind them. Uh, sorry, dry them, shake them off, grind them. And now we have the seeds we sell. And then we have the coriander powder, either to sell or for our own consumption. Amazing. Yes, so that's, that's how the progress is. Um, yeah, so off to the to the chicken coop um, and one thing you need to know about the chickens is it's not that a good story okay so off to the chicken coop so what happened with the chickens is we, some of them have been affected by coccidiosis and we have lost four in a span of two days um, yeah so we took one to the uh, we took one to the agrovet, Miss um, um, Dama. She dissected and she gave us a remedy because they are not that badly off. So some strong antibiotics and some vitamins to be put in water, 10 liters of water every day, so fresh water. So if I put 10 liters this night, um, tomorrow morning I'll have to put another 10 liters fresh of water. Um, yeah, for with the medicine. So coccidiosis is is a bummer. It's, it's it's a bad one, you know. So, but but I was hoping it was is not Newcastle, and um, I, I think, and I thank God it's not Newcastle. Um, yeah. So after the, after that, then we're gonna have now them vaccinated again uh, for Newcastle. I don't know. If it's, I don't know if it's vaccination. I'm, I might just. I don't know. Yeah, but. Um, I'm torn between vaccinating or not, you know, because I have reared my birds without any form of medication. So this is going to be the first time because it's, it's a real scare. Just before they reach the age of um, egg production, then this happens. So I need to be very careful with what I do in the next few days uh, and observe how, you know, I'm, I'm also going to change litter. It's been like um, a month and a half 
going to two months without change of liter yeah so i think tomorrow I'm, I'm, i will have to change liter so yeah so let's see how the birds are and again it, during the, the holidays i sold um i sold enough birds uh, we sold around 20 25 25 odd birds you know the jogos so from my friends and everyone else who bought thank you by the way asante nisana thank you for supporting country farm and the rest of them just died yeah so this is how they look they it, it, it's as if i don't have any birds here <laughs> but now um i only have a few so as you can see the litter is not that good but it's not cakey and there's no smell so there's there's no ammonia because i mix this litter every now and then like after every three four days i mix it up so this is how they are now i have changed to feeding them only once because the females were adding too much weight and you know they cannot lay eggs with <laughs> that kind of weight so i needed to cut on uh, the feeds for for a while um yeah so now i'm feeding them five kgs but for the fact that i don't have 20 birds five kgs is still enough for them so this is how they look and this is what i do not want to happen this is what happens uh with these birds they patch on top of the drinkers and defecate on the water they defecate in the water and coccidiosis happen so this is exactly what i don't want to happen and, and, and what i don't know is what to do so that they don't patch on top of the drinkers i tried putting the drinkers under the just under the this this uh, top tip, but still they're still patching man they're still patching yeah so um there's one that looks sick This one's right about here. Doesn't look very healthy. Yeah, so now it's moving. I think it was just sleeping. Now it's fine. It's fine. So if you see a bird which is immobile, a bird that is not moving around, it's just they are sleeping. You need to take caution. Um, yeah. So I've learned that the hard way. <coughs> I ignored very many signs and unfortunately we get to lose um, some birds. Yeah. <clears throat> so let me change the water. Let me give them the water which has the antibiotics. Yep. And then I'll show you what is above the, ch the, above the chicken coop above the, 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 the chicken coop which is upstairs this one here so what's happening here this is how the chicks look now this is how this you remember the what day old chicks let me see if I can get a photo to compare and there were nine so I remained with eight one of them was uh, eaten by the by the cat for the neighbor and this is the mother they are now rejoined together they are together now and what happened with this other one is it is it has like seven eggs brooding i hope i get a hundred percent conversion rate hundred percent i know that's reaching but hey <laughs> okay let me change the chicken uh, water cool so let me change the chicken water i'll be back in a few so that part is done it's already night time I need to retire, man. Okay? So, coccidiosis, coccidiosis. Mbaya sana. So, I think I'll do a video of this tomorrow, um, inshallah, um, about coccidiosis um, and the effects and how it has hit me and how to prevent it from hitting you. Okay? Thank you so much for being here. Sante sana for subscribing. And those of us who have not, show me some love, bana. Pick a like up, pick a share, pick a notification, kidding, you know, 
and above all pick a subscribe and tell everyone else who loves agriculture and who loves poultry farming and who loves organic farming to subscribe that's my time folks my name is michael abdul malik catch you in the next video peace